Welcome to Global Customer Support. This presentation is meant for address doctor customers. My name is Bart Honhoff. First, the agenda for this video. A small introduction to Global Customer Support. How our support programs look like. How to access our support portal. How to open a service request. What is the end of life policy for address doctor and specific issues for address doctor who are different from Informatica, other Informatica customers. GCS or Global Customer Support has three different regions North America, EMEA Latin America and Asia Pacific. Our support centers are on the following places the US, Brazil, Ireland, United Kingdom, Netherlands, Spain, India China and Japan. Address doctor designated engineers are in USA, the Netherlands and in India. We have voted number one in customer loyalty for the eighth year in a, uh, in a row. We also won a Stevie award for the best website support. Address doctor customers do all have a standard contract which means WebEx supported uh, each ses sessions, a 4 hour initial response time, 6 read write contacts, fixes, moderated support for us, online knowledge base and product enhancement and updates. This is our support portal. How to get there is simple, go to informatica.com and click on support. There you can enter your credentials and if you didn't register, you can register there. Be aware you have to, you can't register with a Gmail account, nor with a Hotmail account, or another free uh, uh, email service. You have to use the account of your company. Support is limited to companies who have a contract with Informatica. What can you do on the support portal? First, you have can use the knowledge base. More and more, the Informatica knowledge base gives you access to all kinds of issues who are uh, for address doctor specific things. For example, if you're looking for specific behavior for address doctor in Germany, you select here on basic, basic search address doctor and Germany and you'll find all the specific issues for Germany and address doctor. You also can have access to a support TV, which are also can be found on YouTube, and uh, and look for the channel hash infra support. Here you can see or how the exit. Here you can see uh, the service requests. To open a service request, you have to have you have have to be a read write contact otherwise you can't uh, read uh, you can't open the service requests if you just a read contact you only can see all open service requests and you can select one of them and look into those who has access what does read write mean read write means that if you are a read write contact you can open a service request and you can look into a service request. If you only read contact, you only can look into a service request. The only one who can uh, administer uh, contacts at, at, support, at this support site is the primary contact. And in this case, the primary contact is Mr. Bates. To open a service request, you have to have a profile. A profile is uh, description of what kind of product you're using. As you can see here is missing address doctor products so uh, you have to add a new profile with address doctor mentioning which version, which environment and what kind of product it's meant. Here you have an overview of all the search requests who have been uh, opened and created. This is a closed search request this is the service request number, substate is closed and waiting on support. If you open a service request with Informatica, 
First thing we suggest is that you open the, that you first look at the KB, the knowledge base, to see if the issue you want to uh, uh, contact Informatica support for, if it's already documented, probably with a workaround or with a solution or with something else. If it's something that can be repeated about behavior, then we would like to know if you have log files, if you have some other information about it uh, before you contact Informatica support. These are the priorities for opening a search request. The first one is production down of s or development down. The second one is production severe impact and development severe impact. And the third one is minor impact. Most likely it's either P1, which probably means that the web service from address doctor is down, or it's a P3, which actually means that particular addresses cannot be found, or why address doctor does behave the way it does. P2s are actually meant for P1 situations where there is a workaround. Response time normally is one hour initially, for P2 4 hours and for P3 8 hours. For standard support contracts the initial response time is 4 hours. How to open a technical search request? This is your project. The search request number is, will be generated the moment you open a search request. Here you can enter one of the profiles. What kind of environment you're talking about? Priority. And you give a small summary here what actually happened. Is it a postal code that's not working? Is it a particular behavior for a particular country? Really short description what's going on. If you need more time and more space to enter the problem, you can do it here in description. Here it's limited to 2000 characters. If you have particular examples like request.xml and response.xml, you can add them later as attachments. If other people also need to be informed about the progress of this service request, you can add their credentials here at alternate email address inc or po uh, telephone number. If you want to be contacted by email, pr preferably, you can enter it here. If you want to be uh, hear people on the phone, you can enter it as well. If you're unhappy with the way Informatica uh, has tried to resolve your problems, you can escalate the problem through the service request owner. Just tell that you want to escalate it. There's also an escalation button on my support. And then Chris Korf, the senior manager for Europe, will contact you. And John Benison might contact you in case you're unable to, uh, to resolve the problem with Chris Korf. If he cannot resolve it, it will go to Ansa Siraran, who is the senior vice president for global customer support. How do you know when it's end of life for your product? Check the communities.informatica.com for the end of life announcements. Under support statements you can see what's generally the base of the end of life. After a new version has been introduced, the end of life phase will start for uh, the old product, which means 18 months after the next major release. For example, Address Doctor version 4 has ended its support 18 months, which is one and a half year after version 5 was introduced. You also can buy extended support for the next 12 months, which means that you will have 30 months after the new version has been released to move to the new version. What are the address doctor specifics? Well, first, releases and all kinds of other information about address doctor there is a newsletter who is specifically addressing all these issues. You can register at addressdoctor.com and looking for news events. The engine is updated for Address Doctor every six months, most likely in March and in September. Reference data are, depending on the country, uh, updated either once a month, once a quarter, once every half year, once a year or irregular. All Address Doctor customers do have a standard contract, but they by no means a standard customer, because all Address Doctor customers do have specific questions and specific issues. If you have an Address Doctor license, 
be aware that the license key will expire after your address doctor subscri subscription expires. So contact your sales before your uh, address doctor license expires. One month before your license expires, you will receive an email from address doctor to uh, get a new a subscription. Because with your address doctor data, it will not be usable anymore with an expired license key. Thank you very much.